I start from your word, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. How many of you ever felt puzzled by the complexity of the context they were in? Can you raise your hand? <laughs> like, this is really too much to understand. Where is the north here? Where, where, where is up? You know, that's a very common feeling. Right? And I think we are often, you know, development is a complex matter. It's, a, it's intercultural. You have people from Europe, from America, from various people from Africa, from Latin America. It's inherently intercultural. And it's also transdisciplinary, meaning that you have people coming from the techie side, you have administrative staff, you have lawyers, you have um, all sort of technician engineers, everyone coming in with a different perspective and not always understanding each other. And here the fact that it's a woman speaking to a man is completely accidental, of course. And, <laughs> and then it's socio-technical because Nowadays, really, we cannot go without a technology part into it. So, socio-technical meaning that technology has these characteristics to be able to change the social practices in the context where it is introduced. So, how to get on hold of this complexity and making sense of it? Because it's very easy to feel like we are on the bottom of a hole where you, we see clearly what's closed on the walls of this of this hole. It's like in a clearance where you see the trees around, but we need to a way to lift ourselves up, to raise above and see the wider context from there so that we can connect the dots. Because it's not the single batch of data that's a problem, it's just to make the links and draw out a meaning out of it. And that's exactly what NetMap is meant to do. That's the core goal of NetMap in a nutshell.